Hi, I'm Dito. We're here at FGCU, and I'm at the front door scaring people away with my mark. <laughs> and, uh, basically what I do is I sculpt out of paper pulp. That's what some of these are, the wine bottle holders. This is my latest one. I call her Crayon. This is from the Praise series. This is an ultimate form, I call it. I, I seem to do this form a lot. I see going through the table. We have, um, I call these uh, doodle boxes, named after my granddaughter. And they're great for holding your crayons. And they're basically cigar boxes with epoxy paintings on top. And this is a tray with epoxy painting. That looks awesome, man. Thanks. I sell those, the icosahedrons and those, for $21 a piece. And this is the pulp that I make everything with. So all my sculptures are made with this paper pulp, basically, which is newsprint ground up, and then I add some chemicals to it that are all safe, hopefully. <laughs> safe for a consumer is probably not for the artist. Uh -huh. And then this is my talk, basically, going a little bit about my art. I started in photography, did pen and ink. This is again that same That's cool, paper man. pulp. This is just thrown against the wood board. That is and it's splatter cool. art and it's very therapeutic and kids love it. This is paper used in a more restricted way in that painting. Um, I don't know. Let me go to some lanai art. Uh, people need things for their lanai and this is made to go outside. And uh, this is called my Phoenix Pelican. This is a piece I painted called Red Tsunami. It's painted with epoxies and reflective uh, colorings. My homage to Klimt, to Klimt, and uh, I incorporated a few things in there. This is a, a found piece on the way to work one day. I saw this palm frond laying down there, and a few feet away I looked, found the camera, so I just cut it, made it a fish, and that's <laughs> what I did that day. That's very cool. Ultimate freedom, getting to do whatever you want each day. And this is a painting called uh, Rain. And I dreamt I was doing that painting, and then I actually did that painting, and that was... No way. I know it, huh? How it makes wild you believe in God. Yeah, it's right? Like, I already did this, and here I get to do it again. Too cool. I tried to copy it as exact as I could, but it's, it's not. <laughs> Phenomenal. And do you have a website? No, I don't have a website. But you do uh, have I an have, email address. I have an email address, but Facebook is where I like to be contacted. Gotcha. And uh, what should, how can someone find you if they're interested in contacting you about work, about your work, or contacting you out to do some uh, custom work for them on Facebook? I guess that they, if they go to Facebook, my page, which is um, Pop Deco um, Movement, if they go there and they like my work, I, I'll usually try and contact them about it. Beautiful. Fantastic.